I promised I'd read a comment about two or three months ago if uh, a video went over uh, 500 comments, and it did, so. Veronica was a woman with eyes that would draw you in. In fact, she had six of them and eight legs all the way down to the ground. In fact, she wasn't a woman at all, but a giant spider that me and the boys in the UIU had to take down after it ate six of the kids in a small town down in Florida. That's the comment I chose by The Rice and Cake, who I believe is somebody from my Discord. Welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19, where I go over all of the best memes from r slash dank memes from site 19, as determined by me. Let's get started. Ah, uh, 2718. I, I just, every time I see 2718, I get super irritated with it. And I don't know for sure if this is joking because it's saying it's scary or it's saying it's not scary. Because it really isn't too scary. It's uh, the op, what's the opposite of scary? Oh yeah, not scary. Because it's so fucking like overly dramatic. It's like, we must declare hu human death a keter SCP and contain it at any cost. <laughs> A Keter SCP? What does that even mean? A difficult to contain SCP? I guess, but uh, I don't know. Ugh, such an irritating article. It's one of those articles that would have been better if it was like a tale, but it would have not have been as high rated, and rating beats quality in this particular case. So instead of making something that's good, or I'm sorry, instead of making something that's as good as it could possibly be, they made something that was more consumable. Which is, uh, I mean, you can't fault it, but it still irritates me. <laughs> this <laughs> the same six SCPs from Series 1 are slash SCP. Thousands of other well-written articles. I mean, yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily true. There's other SCPs besides Series. <laughs> I would say that there's probably about, like, maybe 12 to 20 SCPs spread out across the wiki that most people just think of when they think of the SCP Foundation and when they make memes or they want to, you know, but, hey, what, what SCP do you think you would, which, what's your favorite SCP? Like there's not a thou, like there's not a thousand possibilities you could come up with depending on your attitude and mood for the day. No, 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 there's only like 20, so let's pick from the list. It's a very short list. <sighs> getting irritated over stupid shit. That's what's happening right now. I'm getting irritated over stupid shit. SCP is slightly mechanical. Mechanites allow us to introduce ourselves. It is interesting how like anytime anything's even slightly mechanical, somehow the mechanites are always involved. Isn't that weird? There's never, I mean, I'm sure there are, but there's like, it's almost like there are f just a few SCPs that are somehow make both mechanical and not involving the Church of the Broken God. That's super weird. Which is just because authors like to add in little... But that's the problem when you have like a bunch of authors all trying to add in their own little Easter eggs. If everybody adds an Easter egg to the uh, Mechanites whenever it's a mechanical SCP, then it's not really an Easter egg anymore. It's just a habit. <laughs> SCP Foundation in most canons. Serious, ruthless, cold, and logical. SCP Foundation in the Lowell Foundation. Hey, man, how dare you? How dare you say such accurate things about the SCP Wiki? This is about one of mine. I don't remember the number off the top of my head. Is it three, six, one, three? It's one of the, it's definitely ends in a 13. Edward James almost exists an entire Denny's. I will initiate self-destruct. Ah, yes. An SCP that was written solely because I wanted to have an article that was called Edward James Almost. Because that pun just kept popping into my head. The GOC handling normal anomalous items. The GOC handling in world ending anomalies. The GOC dealing with a cool... See, this is, I think this is supposed to be saying that they're, they did a dumb when they <laughs> dealt with the cool chair. But really, they just did what they do. And it happened in this particular case to backfire. They didn't change their operating procedures at all. This is exactly how they op operate. 
Uh, although, you know, this is the problem with the GOC. So the GOC is originally like this idea of like a foiled the SCP Foundation. What if we had the SCP Foundation, but they were more exploity and destroy? <laughs> so they exploit SCPs every once in a while for when they find them particularly useful. And they also destroy SCPs if they find them particularly uh, destructive or dangerous. But like anything, people like want to be a part of it so they're like ah you know what i like the goc the goc is better than the scp foundation i want to write about the goc and so then they write the goc and it's no longer a foil it's its own thing and it just develops and develops and suddenly you've got the goc as this hyper competent uh you this hyper competent extra uh governmental organization that's somehow also an intra-governmental organization nothing about the goc really makes sense from its organizational perspective but, you know, uh, suddenly it's a thing that seems much more competent and realistic. And then you have to try and rectify that against earlier portrayals where they were fucking up. And the whole point of them was to show, hey, they fuck up. We don't. Be more like us. Being featured in Dr. Sim. Being featured again. Being featured for a third time at Bragging Rights. Being in the paste bin. Being in the paste bin two more times. Yeah, so y'all see sends me a paste bin every week with a set number of memes in it and then i take that paste bin and i'll actually go through it and select down uh, a number of memes and then after a certain after i get a count for that i'll usually try to get it down to about 25. then i'll put it in i'll put record the video but then I'll also cut more memes out but the original paste bin the, the whole yasi list is what i use for credits because uh, my process doesn't really allow me to select it down very well, just to make sure that everybody is... I didn't miss anybody. I put the whole thing in there. So, that's my process. Um, Yasi has uh, really been helpful in making sure that these videos get made. You, the guy she tells you not to worry about. Honestly, that's a better design than the original 682 image. And, added bonus, it's not plagiarized. Although, I guess featuring it in my video here, hey, just to let you know, that's uh, bungs from confinement. And also, that image of uh, 682 is uh, stolen from a, essentially like a Russian cryptid thing. Like, ugh. I hate that it's plagiarized. I mean... The thing is, people in the SCP Wiki, especially writers, they don't really think of it that way. They think of image, and and this is the thing. I don't think it was an intentional thing. It's one of those things where you like, you see it, you say, "Hey, by the way, this is plagiarized because you didn't say that it wasn't yours in the first place. You didn't source it properly." And then someone goes, "Oh, I'm sorry," and takes it down. But that's not what's happening. <laughs> it's still being left up because it's apparently key to the art article or some bullshit. But it's not. This is one of the few images you could take it down. It wouldn't matter. Ugh. Plagiarized images. Plagiarized images. See, the, but the original author doesn't think of it that way. They put it up and they think, no one's going to think I created this image myself because I'm, I'm, I can't do art. I can't do Photoshop. I can't do this. I can't do that. And I never claimed that I made it, so no one's going to think that I did. But of course, people will think you did. And as long as you, through inaction, allow anyone else to believe that you created the thing wholly from you, for yourself, then you are being a plagiarist. That's something that can be fixed, though. You know, just take the fucking image down. That's all I'm saying. Any SCP after the first series? Mods, we do not grant you a spot on there. Oh, fuck the Heritage Collection. I hate the Heritage Collection. It's useless, stupid, and it raises the... Uh, it raises a number of, not all, but some subpar quality articles up to some level of godhood. And this, we shouldn't do April Fool's jokes this year because if something actually happens, no one will believe it. The entire world. You are wrong. I never actually saw that, but I did afterwards see some people talking about how April Fool's stuff was supposed to be put on hold. And I'm like, why? I don't, why would you put it on hold? I mean, your mother. Holy shit, is that a motherfucking Dr. Sumerian reference? That's, um, yeah, that's a thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, Jesus Christ, man. This, per, this person has, who did, who created, I need to know who created this. They really, ugh, because that's, 
I, I'm guessing that must be 2913. What's the man with no, the Clint Eastwood reference? Welcome to Samothrace Branch. We have cool maps pointless shouting about our existence, a refugee crisis, an existential grid. Do I even exist if nobody acknowledges my existence? <laughs> Did you hear about the thing going on in Samothrace? Sounds serious. Our foundation scientists low-key feel watching two dangerous SCPs trying to kill each other. I don't know that that's true. Uh, I'm sure some of them do. I don't get I've never got that instinct or urge to be like, oh my god, they're fighting, it's so cool. But people are like that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. Or else. I don't know where else what, but we'll find something. Then, if you'd really like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. If you pledge like probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist and Manuel Noltorp at the 30 or $40 tier, you get your name read out in every episode. Nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And for the record, neither are you. I'll see you all again on Thursday.